And we're back. A stressful sprint to finishing up the ceiling and lights. We had to make sure we made the best of every moment because we were planning on taking our bus for its first adventure. One, to test out the bus. But two, because my birthday was coming up and I really wanted to wake up on the day of my birthday in my bus. So we had to finish the lights in the ceiling because I did not want to drive with fiberglass sprinkling down on us. So Xavion had to get some wires and extend some of the wiring for the lights because we are using the bus lights to light up our whole house. At first we tried to do the curved ceiling that I see many people do and we just pushed up the wall and as we were going we realized it is incredibly difficult to do and hurts your back and I don't even know how to get the lights through and do all this simultaneously. So we kind of went with puzzle pieces again as we tend to do. We cut out the pieces exactly how we wanted them and I didn't want to break my neck painting them so I painted them ahead of time but after a long day of painting and wiring and figuring out if these lights will function with our bus. It was starting to become too dark to even put the ceilings in. So we had to wait until morning. And once we did, we were ready to put in all the ceilings. I cut out the reflectives to follow the path of the ceiling. And I also punctured some holes where the wires will go through and did the same with the ceiling walls. So after that, I took some wood and wrapped some paper towels on top of it just to not scuff up the paint. And we used that to help hold in the ceiling as we screwed every single one in. And for the first time, the bus really started looking good and ready to actually take on an adventure. And even though we have no toilet or bed or uh, running water, we have lights. We definitely have lights. And you know what? We are using the bus heater when we go on this trip. And I'm pretty excited to see where this bus will go. I hope you enjoyed my video. Bye.